Hi everybody, I'm Dawn, welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make these, or how I make these. The, these are a little cheese snack, like a little crispy, savory pastry. And um, so here's a nice one. It's, they got a nice flaky, crusty yumminess to them and they're really, really good. So. I'm gonna go over and show you how to make these and uh, then we'll taste them at the end. We're going to start with two cups of flour and a stick of butter chopped up and we're going to chop that in to the flour with a pastry masher thing. Uh, I also added a pinch of salt and um, you're just gonna kind of mash that together and then add uh, some buttermilk and I add, I don't measure, so I add a little buttermilk, a little flour until it's the consistency I want. And then you want to get this nice supple ball of dough. And then you're going to just spill it out onto a floured countertop. And you also want to flour your rolling pin. And then you're going to roll it out into a triangle uh, about a quarter inch thick. And then after you get it all rolled out you're going to go down the middle of it with some butter and this recipe does call for a lot of butter and you're going to fold it over that was about a half a stick of butter i think so you're going to fold it over like a pamphlet and you're going to roll it out into another rectangle and repeat that butter step so you're going to do the butter twice i didn't film it two times but you're going to do it twice then when you get another rectangle you're going to roll it out again after your second thing of butter and you're going to go down the middle in a mixture of cheese chopped up butter and a little bit of cayenne pepper however much you want i put just enough in to give it a little bite and then you're going to fold it over again like you did with the butter stage just try fold it like a pamphlet and then roll it out into another rectangle and then you're going to repeat that step one more time with the leftover cheese then you're gonna roll it out into a final rectangle. So you're gonna repeat the cheese step. You, you do the butter step twice and the cheese step twice, and then you're gonna roll it out into another rectangle. And then I chose a pizza cutter, but you can use whatever you want, a butter knife, whatever, to cut out strips. And then I'm going to cut them into smaller strips. And I started with the pizza pan and you wanna put them on your pan and put them in a 350 degree oven until they're, they're nice and golden crispy. I changed my pan over to a rectangle pan because I liked it better. This is actually the second batch. And these are, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button, but these are perfect. They turned out great. So we're gonna wait for them to cool off. And so this is the, the crispiness of them all. And they're very flaky. Okay, so that's how we make it. So I'm gonna give this one little piece of taste. It's really good. Now, I've tried a couple different recipes for this. I tried water and flour. It did not work out. It made just, it just didn't have a nice crisp, crispiness to it. Buttermilk is definitely the way to go. Mm. I'm going to bag these up now that they're completely cool and kind of put them away. That's really all I should be eating because they do, as you saw, they do have a lot of butter and I think about two and a half sticks. So, um, all right, Marshall's getting mad in his room about something, so playing video games. All right, so that's it. Um, the cayenne is starting to kick a little bit. <laughs> all right, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to all of you later. Bye.